Hey guys, um, welcome to the new year. <laughs> it's been years, literally. It's been since last year since we vlogged and I have no excuses. Just, let's just talk seriously. In all seriousness, this year has been insane. 2020, I was living in Spain, came back home, worked, grinded, moved to New York for like two months because we just, why not, you know? Went to Puerto Rico, came back, yeah, I, everything else is like a blur. But those were the major events of 2020 and now it's 2021 and I'm like, wow. I'm clear, I am not a chef. Uh, I just eat to survive. That's about it. But hey, if it's edible, then you can cook. So basically that's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to show you guys my- My go-to healthy meal is actually considered keto because I was searching up what keto is and basically it's a low carb, High fat. Let me go check if that's right. Hold on. Okay, guys. So here it is. Here's the actual literal term. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, adequate protein, low carb diet. And da -da 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 -da. okay. So basically, all the ingredients that I'm using are considered high fat. Basically, a healthy meal, but it's considered keto. But this is basically my go-to meal that I usually cook for myself because that I've learned living on your own you are forced to cook for yourself up and basically survive on my own and so far i'm doing pretty well but like i said because this is the main meal that i make for myself i'm just perfecting that it's easy i have my veggies that i'm going to use as my toppings quinoa which, you know always gonna add hot sauce salmon and salad set your stove to literally low that's number three while it's heating up you're gonna add a little bit of oil Add the quinoa, but let it sizzle, you know what I'm saying? Let it cook in there by itself with no water until you start hearing the pop, 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 pop sound, okay? You don't like that candy in your mouth and it just starts pop, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna let that post up a little bit for like three minutes. We're just gonna wait until I start hearing the popping sounds, but make sure it's on low because it will burn. Trust me, Adam burned quinoa before, don't I? No. Okay, everyone has their own way of seasoning their meat, poultry, whatever you wanna call it. However, me, my take is. This is just the one spice that I feel like if you do not have a lot of spices in your house, you don't need anything else. Are y'all ready for it? Okay. <laughs> y'all obey? Y'all, I put obey on anything. Eggs, meat, fish. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Veggies, anything. This shit, obey? But obviously I'm definitely gonna add in other things. All right, y'all, do y'all hear it? Do you hear the sizzles? I don't know if you hear it, but basically now you can put it in. Put in your water and let that shit boil. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm gonna set it even more lower. For the fish you guys can add whatever toppings you guys want make sure to wash it first i'm gonna put some onions some seasoning and lime
And now we're gonna check on the quinoa. So you can see that it damn near almost soaked up all the water, but you can tell that it still needs to cook a little bit more. Your quinoa has to be fluffy in order for it to be considered cook, which is what you want it to be. I'm gonna assume it needs like 10 more minutes and the fish, I don't know. I don't know how long you usually wait. I just wait and see until it's fully cooked, until it gets that rich brown color. Isn't that how the chefs talk? Okay. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna start on the Brussels sprouts. Um, I'm not gonna cook it on the skillet. My sister got me an air fryer, so I'm gonna use the air fryer, add some seasoning to it. And boom, it's gonna be ready in like 10 minutes, so. Okay, so now that I have my Brussels sprouts, I'm just going to season them. I'm gonna use some onion powder, thebomb.com, some black pepper, mix this shitty. And honestly, I don't even know what paprika is for, but it adds color and people use it, so why not? <laughs> It's all nice and fluffy. Look at that. Yeah, this is the great substitution for rice. I love rice, but you know, if you're trying to keep it on the healthier level, quinoa is the way to go. Okay, so I just took it out and I cut it in half. I'm gonna add some lime, a little bit more, a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it back in the air fryer just for a few more minutes because it cooks better when it's cooked. And then freeze it. And there we have it. We have the quinoa at the bottom, some spring mix salad. Look at the beautiful salmon. Look at that. Looking scrumptious. Okay, I have some jalapeno hummus, some tomatoes, green peppers, cucumbers, and my Brussels sprouts. And you guys, that is a perfectly healthy keto meal. You know, can I get a little? I don't Last but not least, add some Cholula. If you don't like Cholula, I don't know what to tell you. The first bite. Oh my god, you know when you're trying to, this is like a Jedi when you're trying to get all the the sides in one. Okay. Gusha? <laughs> Y'all, and the best part is, it's so fulfilling. It's fire. Fire. We just tap in on the Brussels sprouts. Wash it down. That's a wrap. I'm about to clock out. Like I said, guys, I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook. I'm just out here trying to survive. 
<laughs> Should I just have a nourishing meal? Over to the den because I'm about to grub and watch Netflix. I'm about to watch this show called Lupin. I haven't watched it, but I've heard so many good things. It's it's in French, and it kind of reminds me of La Casa de Papel, Money Heist. But okay. Anyways, this is the meal. The last. I mean, you guys already seen it, but for one last look. Look at this healthy meal. And y'all, that's it. Easy peasy. If people tell you, do you don't know how to cook? Tell them lies you tell. Because Lydia just taught you. It's not that hard, right? All you have to do is follow the instructions. Follow the recipe. That's it. Who knew it could be that hard? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night, guys. That's a place, doesn't all, I'll go